あんま安物肉でまともな品になるわけあなんでや手が手が止まらへん肉の柔らかさもさることながら誰だこのみじん玉ねぎの特製のタレが実に食欲をそそるなんだこれはこのコクはステーキを焼いた後のフライパンに投入した赤ワイン Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Chow House. Today we'll be making a Yukihira style shaliapine steak rice bowl. We'll be trying to follow the recipe as closely as possible to the anime and manga, so let's get started. One and a half large yellow or sweet onions, diced. Dice the shit out of your onions. Place all of your onions in a dish. Beef steaks, bottom sirloin or rump, pretty much the cheapest steaks in the supermarket. Slice about a quarter inch deep grid pattern into the steak, both sides. Beat that meat and pound it flat. This will let the onion juices penetrate and make that meat nice and tender. Don't be afraid to beat that meat nice and hard. Do it on both sides. Salting the meat during marinating time will help keep the meat more juicy and tender. Add a generous amount of salt both sides. Now spread your onions on both sides of the meat. Let it rest for at least one hour room temperature or longer in the fridge. Once the steaks are done tenderizing, get a skillet on medium heat. Add one tablespoon unsalted butter and saute all of the onions until translucent. The onions will begin to sweat out some moisture. Season it with some salt and black pepper, and once most of the moisture is gone, remove all the onions from the pan and move it to a plate. Clean skillet back to the burner on medium high heat. Add a bit of oil, wait for the oil to start shimmering, and then add the steaks. Season the steaks both sides with black pepper. Add about a tablespoon of unsalted butter and periodically flip the steaks every 20 seconds or so. Use a spoon to baste the top of the steaks with the butter and cook until brown on both sides. The steak will be cooked well done, so don't worry about overcooking it. Pounding the meat and marinating with the onions will make it tender enough. Don't worry about it. After about 5 minutes of cooking, the steaks should be ready. Set them aside on a cutting board. Pan on a medium high heat, add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce followed by about four tablespoons of red wine. Deglaze and scrub off any bits that may have stuck to the pan. Now add the sautéed onions back to the pan. Okay. 
Lower the heat to a medium low and coat the onions in the sauce. Add a slurry of about 1.5 teaspoons of potato starch with 3 teaspoons of water to make it nice and saucy. Cornstarch works too. Grab a spoon and give your onions a taste for seasoning. Add more soy sauce if you want it to be more salty, more wine if you want more of that bitter sweet flavor. Or just add water to kind of create more sauce and mellow out the flavors. Keep in mind that this will all be going over rice. This is going to be a meal summed up in one bowl, so it's important to balance your flavors the way you like them. While the onions are chilling in the pan off heat, mix your cooked white rice with pickled plum paste. Now that everything is done, time to assemble the bowl. Top it with green onions and it's order up. What do you think? The meat's tender, but it's not that, not that tender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not like the, not like the show or the anime. Yeah, I was expecting more like, like the chop it. It's so tender. I mean, it's just falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> with the chopsticks. With the chopsticks, but... I know, you have to cut it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more Food Wars recipes in the future. The Shaliapine Steak Rice Bowl turned out pretty good. All the flavors worked pretty well together. The only thing is that the steak doesn't get as tender as they depict in the anime, where they're, like, pulling it apart with their chopsticks. I mean, I, I beat that meat pretty hard, and we covered it in the onions for a while. But, you know, that's why we had to cut it up. I guess I might have slightly overcooked the steak and made them tougher when I was trying to brown them, but after cutting the steaks, it was still pretty tender to chew after that, so still pretty good. If I can find a way to make the cheap meat tender enough to cut through with chopsticks, I'll let you guys know in the video description. Let me know in the comments what Food Wars recipes you guys are interested in seeing in the future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload another video, and see you guys next time.